Hello. Hi. I don't even know the English word for the things you're doing right now. Um, bobbin lace. I think <laughs> I think yes. I'm making bobbin lace. You, you yeah. think? You yeah. Do yeah. Very well. The left one. <laughs> Turn. Yeah. So and Julie, welcome to Ljubljana. Thank you. To the street festival over here, but you've been very active in festivals like that in your local community as well. I have, yeah. Um, well, I've been working in the arts for nearly um, 30 years. Oh, I'm lost now. What do I do now? Okay, yeah. So I've been working in the arts for nearly 30 years um, and I've organised festivals, but I've also spent a lot of time visiting other festivals and seeing how um, arts and culture plays a really fundamental part in people's lives. Anglijenja Julie Ward je vse stranska umetnica, pesnica, avtorica gadaliških predstav, pa tudi aktivistka za enake možnosti in socialne pravice. Njena izvolitev v Evropski parlament je tudi zanjo veliko presenečenje. I decided to stand for election because um, I was feeling very upset about the anti-European rhetoric in my country and I've spent quite a lot of time working with different cultural partners and so the vision of Europe right, the vision of Europe in my country in the media didn't feel like the true Europe to me it wasn't the Europe that I know it wasn't this Europe you know where I can have I can meet somebody that I've never met before and we can share we can sit here and share something about our culture mm -hmm. You would like to hem, help me with, 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 with printing? With yes, please, okay. yeah, I'll help. Okay. <laughs> On top. Like that. Okay, is perfect. That, is that good? Yeah, that's okay. I'm a people person, really. You know, my whole life's been spent in engaging with people, and I think that the best kind of politics continue to engage with people. That's pretty good, but I got it off centre, didn't I? I did. Okay. Yeah. It's handmade, okay. so. But it's on the left. That's really important for me. It's on the left. <laughs> Julie kandidirala na listi stranke Labour, ki je v novi postavi parlamenta dobila 20 sedežov. Za Wardovo so glasovali predvsem volivci iz te privilegiranih okoli Liverpoola in Manchestra. Delovanje v Bruslju bo njena prva politična izkušnja sploh in na začetku bi rada predvsem izboljšala mnenje o poslancih iz Velike Britanije, ki se jih kar povprek obsoja z euroskeptiki. But actually what you have to remember, right across Europe, is that the majority of British politicians who were returned to Parliament are pro-European. If you put all the Conservatives together and the Greens and the um, Labour Party and we have one Lib Dem, actually we're in the majority. So actually the majority of British MEPs are pro-Europe. It is a minority who behave disgracefully. We need change in Europe um, and uh, I think that people uh, were, vote, were voting for for change. They were voting, um, yeah, they were voting for different voices. And I suppose that maybe that's what I represent because I haven't been in politics before. So people uh, see, well, actually, there's an opportunity for a, a, a different kind of person who's not a career politician, who's had lots and lots of life experiences, and maybe has an understanding of what it what it's like, you know, to bring up a family to work for a living, to struggle, to, you know, face those everyday problems. Oh, come closer, come closer, come closer, I see you, I know you, I know you, I know you. Oh, maybe yeah. you want to do something for our, our Boris, uh, our Boris, our, uh, what's it called, stock market of, Your stock market. of relations and things like, you can say, I give one hour of EU advice. <laughs> kind of Obisk uličnega festivala v Ljubljani je Džurina prva uradna službe na pot. I'm here because um, it's important for me to now um, support the cultural, uh, the cultural organisations right across Europe that actually believe in, um, in um, collaboration. And this is an extraordinary um, evocation of that. This festival is a festival that brings together lots of different um, performing artists from different countries. Um, and also it has a focus on encouraging young artists and training. Oh, is this the school that you did? This is the training project? Yes. 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 Um, it's an incredibly inclusive festival. I've, I've met people who are part of the programme who have disabilities. I've met, you know, um, 
people from Ukraine. In fact, the people from Ukraine are people that I worked with three years ago. I've spent time working in Ukraine, and that's actually how I met um, Goro, who directs this festival. Yuli! Yeah? Can you join us, please, yeah, yeah. for a second? <laughs> this is this is my partner from Ukraine. <laughs> we all met together. But he's also been in the north of England, where I live too. Yeah. So yeah. So he's an international. He's yeah. an international okay, man. Can I go? Okay. <laughs> and actually, going to Ukraine is partly responsible for me wanting to become a politician because I could see in Ukraine how how desperate the people there were for. Uh, greater democracy and who want to use the arts as a form of um, both exploring but also communicating um, their concerns about their country. European project which is actually very bureaucratic thing. It feels like you know you should put like five cents here not here. It's, this is my experience of Europe. So it's easy to be critical. It's much harder to do something, and this is something where I respect Julie's uh, decision and way to do that, to, to jump in and to do it from inside. I'll be the one who'll be clapping out from outside. <laughs> yes, well I already, I talked already, I need my little bit of culture fix, so I'm going to come to you for the little bit of culture fix, and you have to come for me, come to me so I can explain about um, yeah, well, we'll better do, legislation. We'll do, yeah. <laughs>